Hello, my name is Joe Tiarina, Applications Engineer for ST Microelectronics. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate just how simple it is to get your STM32WB Zigbee device connected to a commercial Zigbee hub like the Amazon Echo Plus, which many people already have in their homes. The Amazon Echo Plus has an integrated Zigbee hub and acts as a Zigbee coordinator, and it can allow other Zigbee routers or endnotes to join its network. Then you can use the Alexa user interface to control your device. To get started, make sure you have the software tools installed, the Q programmer to update the corresponding Zigbee stack, the Cube IDE for building and programming the Zigbee user application firmware, the Cube WB package, which is where the Zigbee stack and examples reside, and finally the Alexa app on your mobile phone to use as a user interface. You can also refer to the tools install video number three of the STM32WB getting started series for step-by-step -step instructions. You'll also need a Windows PC, a micro B USB cable, a WB nucleo board, an Amazon Echo Plus, and an iOS or Android mobile phone. Once you have all the software tools and hardware ready, you'll need to start by updating your WB nucleo board with the latest fuzz and Zigbee stack. For instructions on how to do this, you can follow the instructions in the release notes found in the STM32 CubeWB package, or you can follow the stack loading video number 9 of the WB Getting Started series, which you can find in YouTube. Next, download the STM32 CubeWB package from st.com and unzip it. Then find the Zigbee on off server distributed example and open the project by double clicking on the .project file. Give your workspace a name and click launch. Close the information center window to see the project workspace. Then open the app underscore zigbee.c file to edit and change the channel mask to WPAN underscore channel mask underscore 24 megahertz to scan all 802.15.4 channels during the network discovery since we don't know which channel the Amazon Echo Zigbee network will be on. After the edits, save the changes and build the project. Then download and debug to load the application program on the WB Nucleo board, which should be connected to your PC with the USB cable. Click switch and finally run the program. Now that we have the WB Nucleo board running the on off Zigbee application and within range of the Echo Plus, we can now command the Echo to look for new devices and connect. We can do this from the Alexa app installed on the mobile phone. Make sure to restart the server by resetting the WB Nucleo board after the Echo has started to perform the device discovery. If everything goes well, the WB Nucleo device will be recognized as a switch and we can command to turn the board's red LED 3 on and off from the app user interface. I'm now going to delete the device as I want to also show how you can use the Alexa Voice Assistant to do the same. Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take a few moments. Power on your new devices now, and if need. I found first switch, and you can control it by saying, turn off first switch. Alexa, turn on first switch. Okay. Alexa, turn off first switch. Notice how the app syncs up and adds the discovered switch device as well, which we can also control it from as before. I hope this demonstrated the power of Zigbee's interoperability and just how simple it is to get started developing a Zigbee project with the SEM32WB wireless MCU. 
Our Zigbee ecosystem includes much more, so if you would like to learn more, please visit st.com or submit any questions through our online support channel or community forums. Thank you for watching.